Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like this video, please take a moment to leave a comment. Thank you. So I recently picked up my uh, jumbo toothpick by Case, uh, five and a half inches long. I've already done two videos on this knife, but right after doing the very first video on this knife, which is just a beautiful knife, there's no way around it. If you like toothpicks, you gotta get a large jumbo toothpick by Case. Um, it's just a fantastic knife. But in any case, um, right away after posting that video, the first response was, oh, you've got to grab a Great Eastern number 12 toothpick. Well, the Great Eastern number 12 is not a large toothpick. It is a four inch toothpick, which means it's a medium toothpick. And I collect large toothpicks. Like here, you got a Colonel Coon. This one was queen made and it's got the, uh, coon stripe uh, acrylic scales on a beautiful knife and even this barren sun back here which got the uh, india sandbar stag and uh you know a titanium coated 440 stainless steel blade beautiful knife five inches long it's a large toothpick those are the kind of toothpicks i tend to collect i've got well over 60 uh, uh large toothpicks and i actually carry one every day the rough rider uh saw cut bone i carry it every day as an edc it's one of my edc knives so that's why i've got so many large toothpicks but recently i uh, saw a video about the number 12 on uh, big red edc's channel and um he actually had a knife uh, i either given to him or lawn to him by uh, uh bh for him to look at and review and uh it was a number 12 uh Great Eastern toothpick and um, Big Red EDC was just over heels about the knife. I, I, I guess I probably did not sound nearly as excited about the knife as Big Red EDC was and obviously not nearly as excited as BH was when I when he got it. And also I think uh, Jersey Knife Guy has one of these things and he has just raved about how great the knife is and everything else. And uh, what can I say? I jumped on the bandwagon and uh, I went and bought one. Um, I don't know why. I, I mean, I do know why a little bit. I mean, I respect their opinions. Um, and they were saying all the great things about Great Eastern cutlery. And I really don't have a single knife by Great Eastern, uh, mainly because of the price of the knives. But I decided, what the hell, I'll go ahead and get a Great Eastern uh, knife. And if I'm going to get it, I should at least get one as a toothpick. I, I missed out on picking up the fish knife when it came out a while back. And I'm regretting that because I should have bought the fish knife when it came out. I do collect fish knives and I just skipped on that one. Um, and to tell the truth, while I don't necessarily collect uh, four inch toothpicks or medium toothpicks. I do have some. I mean, this one here is by case. It's four and a quarter inches long and it's a beautiful knife. I actually carried this one for a while. Very pocket friendly, but I moved up to the, the larger toothpick and found it just as pocket friendly. So I do have some uh, four and a quarter inch toothpicks. And um, another one here, Rough Rider and Colt. I only got one USA made one so far which was the case, so I decided what the heck. If I'm going to jump on the bandwagon and get a Great Eastern knife, my very first Great Eastern knife, why not make it a toothpick? Um, and I went with the advice that I have heard so many times. Um, if you're gonna buy a knife for collecting purposes, you just as well go for the stag. So that's what I got here. The 128, 119 Sandbar Stag, uh, Great Eastern. And let's pop this open and take a look at this puppy. And yes, I have opened it before, but what the heck, it's kind of like a reveal, at least for you. And here we have it in the wax paper. And let me get all the way out of there. And now, there you have it. And that stag is pretty well evenly matched, I think. The uh, pins, they're deep down in there, uh, well pinned. You can see there, the finish is pretty decent. Uh, yeah, 
see like a little flaw there but not much i'm going to be able to rub that out got nice bolsters it's ringed you got the pinch at the top just like all of the other um um what is this this is actually a northfield unexcelled uh so it's the northfield which is the great eastern brand that they're using for the uh, four inch toothpicks they have it is slightly shorter than the four and a quarter inch toothpick by um by case and obviously you can see that that blade is not going to be nearly as thick as the one by case but we're going to talk a little bit about that too 1095 carbon steel so many people have already done so many excellent reviews on this knife there's not much i can add to it except that it is a, a rock solid build really great knife um open and close pretty good you can see right there the uh the blade falls right down in the middle of the channel nice finish uh, you can catch your fingernail a little bit there and a little bit there, but really pretty good smooth transition. This side is better than the front side actually with the transition. I can fill out a little bit more there than in the back, but you can also, the, the cool thing about when you put a ringed bolster on, uh, on a knife, um, when there's a little bit of a flaw in the transition, you don't notice it as much because of the ring bolster. I do like the pinched front. And um, action's a little off right now, but I think it just needs to get broke in a bit. And you see the tang stamp there. Northfield Unexcelled, made in USA. You got the uh, Northfield Unexcelled uh, trademark on the blade there. And we got Gek Car and then the uh, uh, number on the back here really a fantastic knife this is the only great eastern i've got so i can't really compare the build to other great easterns but i can compare it to the build of other knives that i have and um definitely better than the baron sun i don't see it as markedly better than the um the case knives that i have um but i'm sure other people might see it i do know that uh the blade lineup on this case is not nearly as good as it is on the uh, Northfield. I've never been too much concerned with how how close it falls to the center line. A lot of people are more concerned about that. Well, let's see how the center line is on this case. Yeah, this one's a much better lineup, but it is also a little bit off. But this is pretty much dead center. And it's much thicker blade stock. 1095 carbon steel. What I want to show you though on this is uh, the usability of this blade compared to um, the case blade. As I mentioned before, the case blade is it's definitely longer and it's a more slender build, uh, but it's really you know designed for um, um, uh, processing fish and uh, and small game and stuff. So for that purpose, the the toothpick blade is perfect. This one's a little bit beefier and a little more stocky. And uh, speaking of which, here's a, a Rough Rider Stockman, uh, about four and a quarter or four and three eighths of an inch Stockman. Uh, and look at the difference in blade thickness on here. If you notice, the uh, Northfield blade, not worried about the quality of the steel or anything here, just look how much thicker that blade is and how close it is to the same size as what you have on that Stockman. Um, it is definitely a little bit of a California clip, but it's got a much more, uh, much more steel, much more depth right here on the blade. Nice flat grind going into it. But for all around chores and stuff, this is going to be a really pocket friendly knife, uh, because of just how wide the blade is here. It's wider than you find on your regular toothpick, um, which was one of the things that I was complaining about on another channel. So, um when you get right down to it though uh for everyday use this has a better blade on it than most toothpicks that you're going to find yeah it's definitely not as elegant looking as a regular toothpick because of how stocky it is but it definitely has the same powder horn shape to it you've got the same serpentine handle on everything and um for everyday uses it's going to be probably more effective 
than your typical toothpick. But your typical toothpick is, you know, what I collect. But I cannot argue with this. This is uh, just a fantastic knife. I can see why so many people were raving about it. Um, and it has convinced me that I probably need to uh, pick up a couple more uh, Great Eastern knives. But those are going to be few and far between simply because of just how cost prohibitive these are. Um, I'm going to show you a little slide at the very end, which is going to probably make a lot of Great Eastern fans uh, kind of upset when they see just how much I ended up paying for this knife in stag compared to what they've been paying for in bone. But uh, that really made it easier. But uh, just understand that I was definitely willing to go as high as what the uh, asking price is for this knife in stag, which is around 118 bucks. Uh, so not a cheap knife to have, but is it worth the $118? Uh, I'm sure a lot of people would say yes, and just as many people would say no. Uh, so it really depends on uh, how badly you want a knife like this. I'm very happy to have it. I'm going to have to look at uh, picking up their um, their uh, sod post their side buster line i think it's called a bull nose gonna have to be looking at getting one of those too but um like i mentioned they're not the cheapest knives out there if you can afford one you might want to consider getting one i'm glad i got it i'm glad um i i gotta thank big big red edc also it was his video that pushed me over the limit i had seen at least four other videos on it but uh seeing his and then uh, getting into a conversation with him on his youtube channel about this knife or the uh, number 12 knife and also looking at the comments made by bh uh, made me go and say all right you know what uh, uh, put your money where your mouth is go out there pick one of these up if it sucks go and sell it if it doesn't suck you know, eat your words and admit it, that uh, this is a damn good knife. It's not a five inch toothpick. It's not something I normally uh, collect, but uh, it's worthy of my collection, even though it is just a four inch medium toothpick. Um, fantastic knife, great little jack knife, great for the pocket, 1095 carbon steel. Great Eastern does a great job with knives. Uh, got one now I can actually say that honestly because I know what it is uh, now to go out there and cut some stuff with it because uh, I got to try it out and see how well it works but build wise just fantastic I'm rambling I'm done rambling um, sorry for the video rambling on but uh, just had to say something about the uh, number 12 uh, Northfield unexcelled premium pocket knife their number 12 toothpick. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Knife Chats. And if you did, please like and share it with your friends. Comments are always welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.